for this video, what I want to do is show you how to find the radius when you're given the arc length and the central angle. So remember that the arc length is equal to the radius times theta, where theta is the central angle in radians. Um, so with this one, you could start by solving for r, where you go ahead and divide s by theta, but I'm going to go ahead and write it as it is. There's a couple different ways that you can do this. Um, so in the drawing, what we have is that s is equal to 12 pi inches, and theta is equal to 3 pi over 5. That's the central angle. Okay, so all we're going to do is take and plug in the values that we have in for um, or into our equation. So we would say that s is 12 pi, and we would have r times 3 pi over 5. And one of the reasons I went ahead and just wrote it this way instead of dividing is because sometimes it's easier to divide fractions when it's written this way, um, because we can see that in order to cancel this out, we would multiply by the reciprocal. So the reciprocal would be 5 over 3 pi. So this would cancel out everything on this side, so we would be left with r. And on the other side, if we take 5 over 3 pi, Okay, because remember, whatever you multiply one side by, you have to multiply the other side in order to keep it balanced. We can see that our pi's cancel out, and 3 goes into 12 four times, so we would end up with 20 inches. So the radius for this particular circle is 20 inches when it has an arc length of 12 pi inches and a central angle of 3 pi over 5. If they had given you the angle in degrees, you would have to first convert the degrees to radians. So make sure that you do realize that this does have to be in radians in order to use this particular formula. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.